Welcome to D-Lab, everybody. I've got a tech tip for you this weekend on vintage tube amplifiers, especially if you're experiencing sudden power dropouts. A friend of mine owns this Fender Deluxe, and over the last few weeks, he's had issues where he would play for hours, and then it seemed like somebody just turned off the standby switch. It would just kind of fade out. He'd fool around with the power switch, move things around, boom, she'd come on and sometime work for hours again. Well, the frequency of this problem has been increasing. So he brought it to me, put it on the bench. The first thing I did, of course, was check the high voltage. I turned on the amp, it was dead quiet, but his high voltage is at 495 volts. I thought, what in the heck is going on? So he didn't actually have a condition where he was losing high voltage. It's just the high voltage had nowhere to go. So let me show you what was causing this problem. So the first place you would look, obviously, if you suspected your high voltage was cutting out would be the power supply area. And of course, the output transformer leads that feed the power tubes. So that's what I did. I powered down the amp, started poking around, looking at connections. And here was the first thing I noticed. Here's our screen circuit. You got your 470 ohm resistors, right? It branches over here and does the same thing. Well, these tubes are installed. The 6V6s are in there, okay? Now watch when I do this. See that? See how that pin is jumping up and down? I thought, well, what the heck is going on? So I pulled his tubes out and took a look inside. And yep, the terminals were all mashed in. There had been some misalignment of these tubes the tube sockets are severely damaged. They need to be replaced. Let me show you top side. Now here's the sockets from the top side angle. It's pretty difficult for me to show you this, but many of these pins are receded. They should be a little further up in the holes so that they can grip the male pins of the tubes that you're plugging into. A lot of them are spread out, so even if the pin goes in, it does not make good connection. See, you got a little chipping here. Some of these sockets are kind of mashed a little bit from misalignment of the tubes. So, yep, these sockets have seen better days. It's time to replace them. So, why did D Lab present this tech tip to you? Well, I need you guys to be a little bit more attentive to the condition of your tube sockets. All right, the output tubes are the most expensive tubes in your amp. And if you're going to have a failure in the field, those are probably the ones that are going to cause you the most trouble. So you want to make sure that those tube sockets are in good condition. If you have a problem with the socket, you're seeing maybe your filaments coming up and down or you're losing high voltage in this case, don't get in there with a screwdriver or an X-Acto knife and just bend the prongs to make connection, okay? Once that metal has fatigued, it's going to continue to get worse. And if, God forbid, you lose the grid, you're going to lose the negative bias and you're going to smoke your nice set of 6v6 tubes. Okay? So all I'm saying guys is pay close attention to what's going on with your amp. Give it a good physical inspection and if you have a problem like this, put in top quality tube sockets and your amp will continue to serve you well. Hello, Tony back at D-Lab. We got a little story for you. <laughs> Terry just did some work on my deluxe. It was us having some bad problems with the high voltage cutting out. Sounded like you just put it on standby and then come back. Terry figured out that it was a uh, tube socket problem. Mm -hmm. And I want all you kids out there to know don't be like Tony. <laughs> Part of the reason we probably have this problem is because I'm always fussing with putting tubes in and out of the amp, trying to see which ones sound the best. And a tube socket only has so much life in it. Mm -hmm. And I've found that I can wear one out. You did it too, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you're going to try your tubes, try have a junk amp to try them in or something. Because don't do it in your best amp. This is one of my best amps. Also, Terry just added a mid-boost, mid-range control, which it actually boosts more than the Fender model. And uh, it, this amp is sounding as 
good as it's ever sounded and might be it's up there with all the amps I've ever had. You guys know I've had a bunch of great amps. Yeah. This one has still been my workhorse amp. It's the closest thing I think I've ever had to an amp that's really dialed in all the way. Thank mm -hmm. you. 